Hey there, Saki here from Saki Ticket. In today's video, I want to share 25 plus amazing tips, tricks, and features to customize your Samsung Galaxy Note 9. The Note 9 is an amazing smartphone and it is full of deep and rich features. And of course, naturally, I want to maximize your ownership of this expensive purchase. So let's dive in and discover amazing things. And of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, make sure to follow me on all at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. All right, let's dive in. All right, so the very first thing I want you guys to do is go to the settings and then scroll all the way down and go to About Phone, tap on About Phone, and then tap on Edit and simply rename your smartphone. So in my case, I can call this one Saki Note 9, and now I have a custom name for my smartphone, okay? The other thing you can do is when you tap on this multitasking icon right over here, uh, it brings up the current active window. So as you can see, they're big cards. What I like to do is I like to tap on this icon over here. I like to uh, switch over to the list view, which makes it all look much more clean. Okay, so I can actually access the settings from here. If I tap this, I can access the messages from here. And also I can swipe these away as if I was doing it in the same uh, thumbnail view right over here. Uh, but this time I have a nice, small, compact and clean view. And of course, the next tip I want to talk about is the tip where when you uh, swipe down on the screen, it brings down the notifications panel. So by default, when you swipe down, it goes into the app drawer. OK, so if you go to the home screen settings over here, tap on home screen settings. And if you disable this quick open notification panel option, uh, when you swipe down, it brings down the uh, uh, app drawer, when you swipe up, it brings up the app drawer that is redundant. So what I like to do is press and hold, tap on this, uh, enable the quick open notification panel. And now I have two sets of functions. OK, and this one is very useful because this is such a large phone. So it's, if you're holding your phone like this, you don't have to go all the way to the top. You can just swipe anywhere on the screen just like this. You can swipe twice to expand the quick panel over here as well. All right. And of course, we are always tweaking the brightness of our smartphone. So what I like to do is when you pull this down, uh, by default, you're not going to see this brightness slider over here. So what you want to do is let me just disable that really quick. So by default, this is what happens. You see the quick toggles and you see the notifications. OK, so if you swipe one uh, down one more time, and if you tap this tiny arrow, you'll have this option set that says show control on top for the brightness level indicator. So if you enable this, now all you have to do is swipe one time and you've got your slider right over here to tweak your uh, brightness as you please. All right. And of course, the next setting I want to talk about quickly, if you tap on settings, if you go into sounds and vibration, uh, you want to go all the way down to the sound quality and effects. And as you know, your smartphone comes with stereo speakers on both sides and also it comes with Dolby Atmos surround sound. Now, make sure you guys enable this uh, to get the maximum quality sound from your actual smartphone. And I do want to let you know they sound absolutely fantastic. And down here, you have the Sound Alive features. You have an equalizer. Uh, you can tweak these, um, the treble, the bass, and the instrument and the vocal uh, modifiers by, uh, by simply uh, dialing this back and forth. Okay, so this is all up to you. Uh, if you want more bass, just tweak it right over here for your music. If you want more treble, go right over there. Go to advanced and from here you can do some advanced equalizing if you so desire. All right, let's move on to the next step. Now the next step has to do with your lock screen. So basically if I press and hold, uh, let me change the wallpaper for this uh, example so you can see the clock exactly. Let's just do that on the lock screen because I'm going to be modifying the lock screen in a minute. So if I go to the lock screen right now, what I have is I have the lock screen, I've got the notifications, and I also have a bunch of face widgets, okay? So we have a music controller, if you were actually playing some music. Uh, if I go back here, we have um, uh, the clock and the music controller. These are the face widgets. I'm going to show you how to add more. And also, I'm going to show you how to modify the way this clock looks. So let's do, the, do it this way. Let's go to the settings. Uh, let's go to the lock screen over here clock style right under clocks and information. So if you tap on the clock style, uh, you can modify the always on displays clock style, which I'll be talking about in a little bit. But let's go to the lock screen over here. And from here, you get a preview of what it's going to look like after you make the modification. 
At the bottom, you can pick from all these different fancy clock styles. Uh, you can change the clock style or you can tap on the color and change the actual color. Okay, so if the, you've got the adaptive color that adapts to the background automatically or you can pick uh, any one of these preset colors or even a solid color of your choice. So let's just pick a blue just to make it pronounced over here. So that's the blue color. And then if I go back to clock style, I can pick any one of these cool styles, click done. Uh, if you go back into the lock screen, boom, you've got a cool little uh, clock right over here. So let's uh, go back in here, go to the settings. I wanna show you one more thing in the lock screen. If you tap on the lock screen, uh, at the bottom you've got the face widgets. So if you tap this, you can uh, enable up to four of these guys. So you got the music controller, today's schedule, next alarm, and the weather uh, face widget. And of course, you can reorder these, okay? So if you tap on reorder, uh, you can move the one that you want to the top, all right? So it's all up to you. Let's just keep it like this for now. Uh, let me go back here. Uh, other thing you wanna do is you wanna change the contact information. So you don't have to have anything here, but what you can do is you can type in something like this, Saki Tech, and then when I go back into the lock screen, you'll see all the modifications that I made. It says Saki Tech at the bottom, if I swipe over, I've got the music controller. I've got the uh, today's schedule. If there was anything going on, it would be listed right here. I've got the next alarm. And of course, I've got the actual weather widget. So that's absolutely fantastic, all right? Let's uh, lock this up and go right back in. The next thing I'm gonna talk about has to do with your lock screen as well. So let's just cover the lock screen. Let's go back to the settings, go to the lock screen, and uh, make sure that if, when you go down, it says app shortcuts. These are the two apps that show at the bottom of the lock screen that can be modified. So I can choose the left shortcut to be uh, the calculator and the right shortcut to be the uh, calendar. Okay, so when I go back into the lock screen, you will see the calculator and the calendar and I can swipe them up just like this to access them directly from my lock screen as a quick app. And of course, one more thing I wanna talk about is this navigation bar at the bottom. You got the back button, uh, the home button and the recent apps button. So if I go into the settings and if I go into the display, uh, you can go into the navigation bar right over here. And from here you can customize the navigation bar. First and foremost, you can change the color as you can see, pick any one of these colors that you want. Uh, the other thing you can do is you can hard press the home button. Uh, this button here actually can be hard pressed, okay? And it actually serves some functionality. Uh, the one thing that I like to do is I like to pick unlock with home button. So if you enable this and if I go back to the lock screen, I can hard press the home button and that's going to unlock the smartphone. Now this only works if you don't have a security enabled. All right. It's just a nice little feature. So go back to display, go back to the navigation bar, change color and uh, use the home button to unlock. And of course, uh, you have the button layout over here. Uh, with the button layout, you tap this guy and you can change the position of these two key keys. Uh, they get swapped, okay? So if I tap this, the back button goes here, the recent button goes here. It really is up to you uh, which one is more comfortable for you guys. And finally, now as you can see, this navigation bar is always here. Uh, but if you disable this option, the black dot disappears. So if you enable this option, the black dot appears. That black dot is a pressable button. You have to double tap it. And what happens is the navigation bar disappears. Uh, and then you can bring it up like that. Let me just click this. The navigation bar disappears and gives you a full immersion of the screen. If you wanna bring it back, you just go like this and you can use it if you want. Uh, but let's go back to the settings. And you can also, what you can do is you can pull it up, double tap it and lock it back in place. But if you don't like it, boom, boom, and it's gone. All right, absolutely fantastic navigation bar tactics. Let's move on to the next tip. Now, one more thing I really, really like is if you go to the settings and if you go into the advanced features, uh, you've got something that says fingerprint sensors, actually finger sensor gestures, I'm sorry. Uh, enable this and then go inside. By the way, every most of these menus have a disable or enable button here. And if you tap on this side, it goes into the details of that setting. So as you can see, what you can do is now I can use that fingerprint sensor. Uh, I can swipe down on it. It brings down the notifications panel. So let me show you what that looks like. 
Uh, I can go like this and it brings down notifications. Okay, swipe up, swipe up, down, whatever. So if I swipe up, it goes up. If I swipe down, it comes down. All right, so that's an option you can enable uh, from that finger gesture button uh, in the advanced settings. Advanced features, finger sensor gestures right in here. Let me quickly talk about the always on display. If I turn off the phone, you'll see that there's gonna be an always on display that shows up right here. This thing is fully customizable. So if I go back into the actual um, settings, go to the um, lock screen uh, over here, I have the always on display. Right now, it says it's available from 7 a.m. to 12 a.m. Uh, I can disable that, so that's gonna save me some battery, but if you like that fancy feature, you can have it enabled. You tap on it, and from here, what you can do is you can have a home button and a clock, meaning the home button shows at the bottom. You can have a clock, or you can just have a home button. Now, if I just pick a home button, when I go back to the always on display, all you'll see is this uh, square at the bottom. That's the home button. I like to have it as a home button and a clock. And you can set a schedule for that always on display to always come on at, okay? So in my case, I like to have it on, uh, to be honest, at all times. So I don't even know why I have a schedule. Uh, let's just say show always, so now it's available at all times. And of course, I can set the brightness for the always on display and just keep it at maximum. So you can also customize the always on display. So right now, this is what it looks like, okay? So let's customize this for a minute. If you go back out, you go to the clock style. Instead of going to the lock screen, go to the always on display. And then you can again pick all these different fancy options uh, for your always on display, including some animated GIFs if you wanna add them. Uh, this one I like, let's change the color. Let's pick a color that looks like this, okay? Two-tone color, click done. Now if I turn off the phone and walk away, Boom, you've got a beautiful looking always on display, a clock, date, your signature, the battery percentage, and notifications at the bottom. All right, that's the always on display. When you turn off your phone, if nothing is happening, it pops right up and it is fully customizable. Now back in the settings over here under display, uh, what you can do is you can go to the status bar, okay, the status bar right here, and the status bar uh, allows you to show the percentage of the battery over here. If you tap it, that disappears. If you tap it again, it comes right back up. And of course, you have this other option, show recent notifications only. So if you enable this, it's only going to show the most three recent notifications on the top here. So you're not gonna see any more than three notifications uh, on the top. If you disable this, this whole screen on the top, the status bar, can be filled with notifications. So that's what this is all about. And of course, while you're here, make sure to enable this option that says block accidental touches. So if the phone is uh, in your pocket, in your bag, uh, it's gonna make sure that uh, if you touch the screen uh, by mistake, it's not gonna do anything weird. It's not, it's not gonna call some random person while you were randomly touching the screen. So make sure the block accidental touches is in fact enabled if you want it. All right, let's move on to the next tactic. The next uh, tip has to do with your notifications. So if you go into the home screen settings, press and hold, go to home screen settings, uh, go to app icon badges. You can just disable these or enable them, but if you tap on this side, it takes you into the detailed settings. So over here, what we have is we have show with number and show without number. So app icon badges give you uh, notifications on an icon of the actual app. So if you have a text message, it's gonna uh, show up as a red uh, circle. It's gonna say one. That means you have one new message. What you can do is you can change that so it only looks like a little clean circle for people that like minimalism. Or if you want to know exactly how many um, uh, notifications you have for a given app, you can just go like this and that's gonna give you the number and it's not gonna show anything beyond 99. So it's gonna say 99 plus. So when you go back out and you get a text message, uh, you'll either get a number or a small badge, a red dot on the top right over here. Uh, that is called the app icon badges. It's something you can disable or it's something you can enable and then customize, all right? Now one more thing you have here is at the bottom, it says show notifications. Make sure this is enabled. And what you can do then is 
when you press and hold on any app, if there's a new notification, it's gonna give it to you at the bottom right over here. So that's gonna work with the phone. So nobody has called me right now because the phone is just brand new. Uh, but if there was a missed call, it would show up at the bottom right here. So just press and hold on an application or an app icon and you're gonna get this menu. At the bottom, it's gonna give you an actual notification. For example, a new message from Amy, a new message from Joe, something like that, or a missed call from father, all right? And that brings us to the end of this video and I hope you learned some new tactics for your amazing Samsung Galaxy Note 9. Now make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech for more videos to come and of course, if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, follow me on all at Saki Tech Online for the latest updates. Guys, have a fantastic day.